How are you all doing today? This beautiful sunny day. Where we are. I have no idea where we're going. I'm just out for the ride. This bike, I've got to say, is phenomenal. The matchup between this and the tyres give me so much confidence, so relaxed on it. I've got the music playing. Very impressed with this helmet. Very impressed. Out on our own, it's me and Tez today. Okay, we're going out towards Dunham Bridge, I believe. Just a few country lanes, chilling out. I think we'll go over the bridge and uh, see how full that river is. Always amazes me of how full it can get. I know we've got a bit of overflow planes and stuff, and I think it's taken over those, but. Uh, it's quite a windy day today. Nothing major, but it's quite windy. And I've got to say the helmet is very quiet. Very quiet. I'm listening to the music and that much interference, if I'm honest. Been looking at the GoPro 12, any of you got it? Um, it's saying the extra stabilizing and extra this, that and the other. Um, so if any of you's got it and you've tried it, you can let me know. Or if you've just tried it out. See, I see a lot of write, uh, write up reviews on it, however, not from motorcyclists. There are always people who do cycling or mountaineering or skiing or something like that. Not many what you would call motorcyclists, which is kind of what you need to do a decent review. You know, I want to, I want to know what it's like for the sound quality and uh, everything else. If it's not worth changing, it's not worth changing. Used to be a big gorilla in the garden. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Why do I remember that? Don't remember the road that well, but I remember there used to be a gorilla. That's mad. I meant to bring my big camera out with me today, but unfortunately I uh, didn't. I will take some photos, but alas, no. We're coming up to Dunham, Dunham Bridge. I don't know if any of you go through here at all. Um, they're still not charging for motorcyclists, or at least they weren't. Whether that's changed or not, I don't know. I might do a bit of footage facing me. I love my new helmet. Better concentrate again. So yeah, this is Dunham, and I tell you what, I've come back from sort of Skegness and places, White Swan make a beautiful coffee. Absolutely beautiful. There used to be quite a popular Indian restaurant around here, I don't know if it's still here or not. There it is. Maharaj. Car park to the left, restaurant to the right. And all the cars pretty good. Okay. So we're coming up to Dunham Bridge now. Oh, it's a 
bit weird. Oh, the river's still high. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Very high. So yeah, they, they've stopped charging motorcyclists and I did have to ask the question why and it was just brilliant to motorcyclists absolutely brilliant the reason they don't charge us is because we used to hold the traffic up too much by the time we stopped, took our gloves off the new speed limit here, 50 used to be uh, de-restricted so be careful guys when you come out the other side of Dunham Bridge because there is a speed camera down here as well so they reduced it to 50 that will be catching people out because it's always been de-restricted so anybody's not looking and that thank, was thanks to Tess pointing it out right, if you come down here you can turn right here to go to Newark that's a nice road, nice twisty road and uh, turn left to Gainsborough and that's a nice twisty road as well so if you fancy some twisties, uh, yeah, they're pretty good, those ones. Oh, bless him, you see me. Thank you. And then, look, they've even they put you a sign. Then you've got the speed camera. And then it goes into your de-restricted. So you come out of Duns Dunsford Bridge, Dun Dunford Park, I remember what it's called now. Just be careful. Don't want anybody getting tickets for no reason. There's a lay by there now. I've never seen that before. Whoa! It sure is windy. Oh, there's a cafe there. I've never seen that. Nelly's cafe. So there you go. Have a cup of tea. This is a lovely place to be, sat on this bike, listening to some tunes. Sun's out shining. In my happy place. Anybody who's interested, um, I'm running a GoPro 10. I've got the media mod on it, which has made a difference, even though I didn't think it would. And I have got a purple mic. And at the moment, quite happy with the results. Like, very happy with the results. Again, as we come down here to these traffic lights, um, you can turn left here to go up to Gainsborough. That'll be the A156, and it's it's a nice sweeping road. Although I do believe they are. Uh, I think there's some some 50 mile an hours on it. Anyway, we're on the A57 out towards Lincoln. Following the uh, river or a canal or whatever, I presume it's a river. Although I don't think so. Probably a canal. 
in the summer it's quite nice to see you get uh, a lot of cruisers on there, cruising boats and stuff. something you know I'm just sitting here thinking because my nose is getting a bit runny sorry about that but all the things I put in the top box and one thing I haven't put in there is tissues <laughs> the little pack of tissues would have been lovely if only It's an absolutely beautiful day. This Indian restaurant on the left hand side, it took over. I don't think it's open anymore. I think it closed down. Keep going on about Indian Do you think I like curry? This one, Saks will be spiced. Come. It doesn't surprise me. I'll tell you what I have done, I've uh, signed up for YouTube Music and uh, what I like about it was, I thought I'd try it, you know you get the free trial thought I'd try it and then just get rid of it, oh nice old Jack or Daimler, one or the other uh, yeah I thought I'd sign up for it and um, I'm very impressed and what you do is you put a say a song in that you want to listen to, any song you like and then it, what it'll do is it'll find songs of similar type music you end up starting to listen to songs you haven't heard for years, you've forgotten about. So very, very impressed with that. I don't know if any of you have been, have been into Lincoln to the cathedral. That's definitely worth a day out. I'd recommend that for a day out. And if you can do it around Christmas, that'd be even better. Let's see another bike out. I believe the sound in these headphones. Absolutely fantastic. Well, it seems like he stopped being a Land Rover dealer. He used to just specialise in Land Rover and Range Rover, but he used to have a lot of other cars on his forecourt. That's some lovely comments on the last few videos, thank you. Anybody that's uh, taken the time to comment, and all those that have watched them, thank you. Hope we can keep producing uh, videos that you want to see. Uh, one guy on it, uh, he was saying about just riding, he always goes out on his own. Uh, yeah, I can see that. 100% see that. I quite like to go out on my own as well. Anyway, there's um, Lincoln Castle Cathedral. We're not very good at this summer. Christmas, it's amazing. They do a Christmas market as well. Absolutely well worth a walk around. There's also a Suzuki dealer at uh, Lincoln, around the back by the hospital, or which is before you go, either before you get to the hospital or just after the hospital. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a good dealer, by all accounts. Right, we're going to hang a left here. I'll tell you what we are going to do, we're going to go around the roundabout. Is he going to go? Yeah.
just says we stop him. We have a little float round. Oh, I enjoyed that, oh, I did. I didn't gain anything by it. I just didn't have to put my feet down. Okay, they end up behind the vans again, look. I gained nothing, apart from a giggle. Well, I'm just going to rub it now because um, I think it's the first time I've been up to like 70 miles an hour with this helmet on and I'm going to find out what the sound's like. Hopefully uh, it will be coming through as clear as it should be. thing about this bike it does give you a little bit of a buzz at 70 but it's not through your hands it's through your bum and if I'm honest it's quite nice I think I should be saying that She's just lazing now. You seen this, guys? She's absolutely wherever her pointer, she's gone. Absolutely gone. Talk about point and a word. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off to William Woods and uh, have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, something like that. Okay, we're on the A46 now, which you can use to get to Grimsby. Um, obviously, if you're going up there, we can go up to Birmingham or Cleethorpes, which again, it's a nice run up there for that. I quite like uh, Cleethorpes. And Grims, Grimsby lots of more. Grims has become very. Um, it's become a proper. I'd say run down. Dockyard. Immingham is basically just a dockyard. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot there. We've, we've travelled around it quite a lot. It's just big industrial estates, obviously waiting for the ships coming in and off the dockyards and such like. Um, so, but Cleethorpes, little seaside town, uh, if you catch it, it's not too busy, There's plenty there, it's got quite a nice little town centre, and of course it has chip shops, and donut shops, and not that I want chip shops and donut shops, but I do. I honestly am on a diet, <laughs> however, it's not doing as well as I would like. Because I kind of feel if I come out on my bike, when I get to wherever I'm going, I'm quite hungry. And if I'm quite hungry, then uh, it's got to be a bacon roll, isn't it? Well, there's a few bikes out today. Oh, he looks happy chappy. Not. Mind you, with that face helmet on, I bet he's cold. Little open face helmet and his um, glasses, sunglasses. Oh, I'd rather be warm. I'd rather be warm and not suffer for a look. Oh, I'm a biker and I've got a big, whatever it was, probably Harley or something. And I'm cold. Well, I'll tell you what, there's, it is quite a cool breeze blowing. And I know for a fact if he's just in his jeans and his leather jacket. <laughs> Okay, so uh, on this I'm going to go up the A46 and that's going to take me towards Grimsby, Dunholm, 
but it will take me to Market Reason where I want to be. So if you're fancying this ride out, So yeah, we're staying on the A46. One thing I've noticed with this helmet, with this camera where it is, uh, I'm not going to blocking out my, my dash. I have to keep looking down, so I apologise for that. You keep seeing me flicking down. Well, uh, it won't be long before we're on the 10,000, oh, sorry, 10,000, 10,000 mile, the 1,000 mile review, when I get to play with the whole bike. I don't know if that sounds right or not, I get to play with the whole bike. I can have all the revs, I've done, I have run this bike in exactly to spec. Five and a half thousand revs up to 600 miles in first service, and then no more than 8,000 revs until a thousand miles and then she's all mine. So Suzuki, I've got it all written, written, I've got it all on camera. I've been a really good boy. So if I have any problems, I did everything you said. I love, look, I'll tell you what, one thing I love is architecture. You know some of the houses that we've got that have been built and some of the ideas that people have, oh that's nice, <laughs> uh, some of the ideas that people have. Okay, so, um, Seven District Coffee House here. Never tried it, um, but it looks very, very popular. So if any of you's had a go in there, can you let me know? See what it's like. some bends and the, honestly this bike now is oozing for bends I love the bends now I just love the feeling I love my new tyre the battery tyre pump Making, I was actually thinking of getting a, an adapter for the tyres you know, to make them right angles so I could put my compressor on them. I need to now. Just using my battery one. I suppose the only key thing is to make sure it's charged up whenever we're going out. You know, if we're going out. Yeah, once every couple of weeks or a week or whatever, just make sure it's fully charged. However, it's got a charger, I brought the cable as well, and because we've got a USB port on the bike, still not the end of the world if you just sit side of the road for 15 minutes while it charges up. It's nicely self-sufficient. I'm not being funny, it's exactly, exactly what uh, the RAC will come and do, just come and plug it, so you to get a new tyre when you can. Beautiful sunshine, things are starting to get green now, we're just beginning of March 2024, and things are starting to get nice and green. Trees are beginning to get a bit of colour on them. I know the GoPro won't show you how much we are leaning in, but it seems to be falling in. 
I didn't think I'd be using the quick shifter on this, I thought it was just going to be a gimmick and uh, yeah, I won't bother with that. I never not use it now. South Highfield Fishing Lake. If any of you like a bit of fishing, I'm sure you already know about it. No, do you know something? I've never been interested. Well, I suppose the reason I've never been interested, I don't like touching them. I'd be like, somebody get it off, somebody get it off. Is it police, is it police hanging around or is it somewhere else? Oh no, it's just somebody dressed as uh, Mitsubishi Shogun up. Okay, we're going to turn right on to A46 now and go. we're just going to Market Raisin, which to be fair isn't that far away now. But we'd also go this way to Cleethorpes, as you can see, Emmingham, Cleethorpes, Caister. Do you know what? I've never been to Caister. I think I need to have a look at that one day. I think it's a seaside resort, I'm not sure. I do remember years ago, uh, I think it's got some sort of... Uh, unless it's not that one sure there used to be a holiday resort at Caister that people used to go to right this is Middle Raisin I love these ride outs they're great I had a nice uh, message off somebody um, forgot your name mate sorry and um, we're going to invite him out on a ride out he lives quite close to us and he says he'd like to come out with us I says as long as you don't mind being filmed then that's absolutely fine happy for you to come out with us We'll have a little run out somewhere and uh, see how you like it. And uh, maybe you get a bit of footage of your riding as well. A bit of prosperity for you. See, that's the one thing that, you know, some people have said to me, why are you doing these videos? I'm doing them for me. You know, um, if I get too old to ride a bike, I watch my videos back and I'm back there on the saddle riding. And and that's why I'm doing them. I'm not doing them for any other reason. And I love, I love the process. I love recording. I love talking to you guys. Not so push. Uh, love talking to you guys and love the feedback that we get. You know, it's a, uh, it's a lovely feeling. Happy feeling for me. And I know that if it comes a time when I can't ride anymore, which is going to happen to all of us at some point. I'll have all of these on YouTube for prosperity. Oh, here we go. There's a race course down here. Is there a race course at Market Race? Didn't know that. beautiful area around here some lovely buildings some beautiful churches as well all right if you're not been into that then it's not going to matter but there's lots of things to see another thing where we're going at Willingham Woods a little cafe um, which you'll see when we pull in there's also a nice walk in the woods um, we've actually brought the dog down in the car and had a wander around the woods the only thing I will tell you is there's I put a video on it about it before they have got some um, variable speed cameras up now so you know just be careful come down and enjoy the coffee don't worry about too much showing off to anybody however if that's what your bag is and that's what you want to do well good luck nice leisure centre like a new build it's a lovely little market town this it used to house um, a market obviously hence the name market many many years ago I don't know if it still does or not but look how beautiful this is look guys I could be sat on my telly at my telly I could be sat on my sofa watching telly today or I could be doing this and do you know what
I'm so happy I'm doing this. It's a smile on my face. There's so much to see down here. You've just come round for a wander round. Oh, the old wagon for his horses. I love that. They keep something like that going rather than just buying a new one. Good on him. Well, I suppose somebody will say it's rubbish for the environment. I suppose it can't be as rubbish for the environment as scrapping that and buying a new one. With all the crap that's been used to make it. Right, the, is, ooh, that used to be a garage for petrol station. Oh, it still is. Petrol station is still there. I thought it had gone. I love riding this bike just because I can go along here at 30, I can then, you know, it'll go along and excite you if you want it to excite you, or you can just be chilled. I'm so relaxed. I've never been this relaxed on a bike in my life. Always give the mopeds a nod, maybe your future bikers, get them into it. I'll tell you why I've noticed, you know uh, this time of year, riding through the winter that, that we have, everybody nods. Yeah, you know as soon as summer comes, it will stop. Like sports bikes seems to just want to nod to sports bikes, Harleys don't acknowledge anybody. I'm sure there are the odd few. Um, and then... Uh, some of the some of the tourers, it seems to me, and, and I'm not going to be disrespectful here, but it's your first camera, guys. I'm not going to be disrespectful, but it seems BMW. Um, I don't know what it is about them. You know the ones I mean. They don't seem to want to acknowledge anybody. They're just a world of their own. And because there's so many of them, I suppose they, they can be choosy. <laughs> but let's be honest, everywhere you go, there's always a lot. And that is probably because, as they say, they are the best bike. But luckily, we don't all have the same... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the same taste some of us like something different and I've got to be honest with you for me I wouldn't have one because I'm not I'm not an adventure rider the thought of going off-road doesn't appeal to me at all and if I was going to do it I'm afraid I would literally go and buy uh, an off-roader right guys this is Willing and Woods anybody's not been here before that's the walk up there and this is uh, this is the woods, the woods.